Certain addresses are reserved and cannot be assigned to individual devices on the network. These include the network address, the directed broadcast address, the local broadcast address, the local loopback address, and the auto configuration IP addresses. Let's start with the network addresses. Network addresses are an address where the value of zero is set for all bits that are in the host position. Recall that we have a default mask for each class of IP address. In a class A address space, the default mask would be a slash 8, which indicates that the very first 8 bits would have a value set to 1, identifying the network. So let's say that we had an address of 10.0.0.0. The very first bit, the first 8 bits, would indicate the network portion. So that would be 255 in the mask. And then the last three octets, the mask would read 0.0.0. .0. If those last three octets in the IP address are all set to a value of 0, this would indicate the network address. If the value were 10.0.0.1, since that fourth octet has a bit value set to something other than 0, this would no longer indicate the network address. This would actually be the first usable host address on this network address space. Now let's talk about the directed broadcast address. If you're going to send traffic to every single device on the network, you need to either know each individual address or you need to use the broadcast address. The broadcast address is a single value where binary ones are set in the entire host portion of the address, in which case all host devices connected to that network will respond. If we had an address of 10.255.255.255, this would indicate the directed broadcast address for the 10 network and you could send to that address so that all host devices on that network would read it, hear it, and be able to respond. Next we have the local broadcast address. Local broadcast address is used if a single device wants to communicate with all devices on its local network but it doesn't want it to be routed to the directed broadcast address. In this case, we send it to an address of all ones. This address would be 255.255.255.255. We would transmit the packet to that destination, and any of the hosts that are on that network would be able to reply. This is an address that is never routed outside of its local segment. Next address we want to talk about is a local loopback address. The local loopback address is used so that the system can send a message to itself or oftentimes we use this for testing. If we want to see if our IP stack is reachable we ping the local loopback address. A typical local loopback address is 127.0.0.1 although it doesn't have to be. It could be 127 dot anything as long as it's within the 32-bit IP address space. Finally we have the auto configuration IP address. When we put addresses on our hosts, we either do it dynamically through a protocol known as DHCP, or we statically or manually assign IP addresses, although this doesn't scale very well. In some cases, host devices are not going to be configured manually, and we don't have DHCP in place. If the host supports RFC 3927, they can generate an address in the address space of 169.254 with a slash 16 prefix. That address can then be used to communicate locally on that network. This address space is also not routed. Most of the time you're going to see this when a computer boots up on a network, doesn't get an address via DHCP, and so it automatically assigns one of these 169 addresses to itself.